Hello everyone, welcome to Sacred Sexuality Healing. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, something that became very common, which is ghosting. And I want to start by um, telling you a personal story that happened to me recently, which is um, I have a friend, well at least I thought he's a friend. And um, out of nowhere, he decided to ghost me without even any kind of like, we didn't have any confrontation, we didn't have any argument, we didn't have um, nothing. Just we were having dinner one night with two other friends of mine and uh, I invited him to join us. And that same night, he decided not to talk to me anymore. And because I'm the kind of person who does not push things in life and I let life unfold. And I see um, a wisdom in everything. Uh, it does not mean that I accept the behavior. It's just, it means that I believe that I, I, I always like to invoke this prayer, which is Divine Beloved. It's a, it's a Tosha Silver prayer. Um, let whatever come, come, and let whatever go, go, and help me um, uh, accept that in that case. So it gives me some kind of peace that people would come and go into my life all the time, and into everybody's life, actually. But... You don't need to form deep attachments and you need to um, have faith and trust in the wisdom of why these people cross your path and why did they leave your life for some reason to the other. But um, that's beside the, the point. So uh, I didn't really understand his behavior. However, I just want to give you a bit of a background because um, I want to talk about ghosting. So I'm just using this as an example. Uh, when people, this guy used to work in the army for five years. And as a person who's working in the army, this means you confront. You confront a lot of things and many of it you don't like but you still have to confront it. So when it comes to real life and coping with real life and confronting a situation that you don't like, instead of actually taking the time to tell the person, even though it might be difficult, let's say if I did something that I'm not, I'm not aware of, or what I believe in, which is that it was hard for him to accept the fact that we can only be friends since I expressed uh, the interest of only being friends and not anything else. And uh, I think it was a hard frog to swallow for him. And then he decided to ghost me, not even to honor the friendship we had, not honor the, the, the time we had, not even honor his own words. So I also want to shed light on that, the fact that people don't honor their words. Like um, I remember how often he said, don't think you're alone. If I, if I had some problems in my life and I was like telling him, oh, I am going through this or I'm going through that. And he would say, I'm with you. Don't think you're alone you have a friend here or you're a rare friend and I'm like I'm, I'm, I'm I really um, I honor you being in my life as a friend or I cherish you being in my life as a friend I didn't actually ask him to use these words so be careful what you express and what you honor because if you really honor somebody in your life or if you if you are in a relationship where you keep telling your boyfriend or your girlfriend I love you or if you had sex together and then because of any reason um, any conflict that happened in the relationship and after using these very powerful words because we have to understand that words are um, a frequency words have frequency and you know you will create karma by actually using words and and promises that you don't keep 
so you have to be really you have to understand how the universe works and this is another uh, topic for another day but be careful with, with with your words and be careful with your promises especially if somebody did not ask you to use them and you find yourself saying and blabbing and just blurting words that you don't have an intention to keep or even if you've said it and you meant it at that time so you better keep your promise so if that guy told me I honor you in my life as a friend and you're not alone and then three days later he decided to ghost me for some reason that I don't know then that's not honoring what we, what he said about cherishing me as a friend in his life because if he cherishes me as a friend in his life he would have confronted me he would have said you know what you've done that and I don't I disagree with it and I feel like I've been kind of you you um, for whichever reason which didn't happen but I'm just saying um, that hurt me or it was unacceptable for me and then there will be a conversation or even for the reason that I felt it is the reason behind the ghosting that I have feelings for you and I don't think I can stay as a friend so in in the light of being honest to myself and you and true I cannot I cannot honor this friendship anymore so I have to keep my distance and that would be a respectable and behavior and would be a mature behavior from somebody rather than ghosting or disappearing on them and the funny thing is in life you would see men who have quite really quite tough jobs like this guy for instance I'm, I'm using him as an example because he was an army officer for five years in in war zones and and he confronted many enemies but he could not actually confront me or rather than that he could not confront himself and find the courage to come and to to kind of like um be man enough and have the guts to say i want i i need my distance because of this and this and this and this regardless of the reason is rather than just disappearing and not answering messages which is kindergarten stuff really and unfortunately i find that many people do that these times and especially because of social media because who's gonna punish you you can easily just erase a full history with somebody just by simply um you know blocking them virtually and just erasing and deleting the messages <laughs> and simply not answering because before uh, people could like knock on your door if they are your, your neighbors or see you at school and come talk to you face to face but people because they they are not confrontational anymore and they are not in their power and this coward cowardice um, came to the heart that people don't need to be brave anymore they don't need to step into their power and confront and say you know what i disagree i i respectfully choose to maintain my dis distance from you uh, but rather than that people now choose to kind of like disappear on you and in my opinion this is an act of cowardice uh, and it actually kind of reduces the human being into something even beneath humanity um, because you have to understand that whatever pain you put the other person through by blocking them and not giving them the right to understand what happened, it's gonna also come back to you. I mean, this is this is the law. The, 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 this is a universal law, the law of cause and effect. So by actually talking about this, I'm just it's an invitation for anybody who embraces this behavior and if any of you did not actually do this behavior but sometimes we feel tempted to do that to other people to reflect on that and reflect on the consequences and don't take it lightly don't take it lightly to just um kind of block someone or just you know kind of delete them or 
or just disappear on them out of nowhere. Of course, I understand if you had several times or several attempts with the same person and you try to explain yourself and I try to mend, uh, you know, make ends meet and mend, um, you know, the relationship. But when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But what I'm saying is you don't get, give the person the chance to explain themselves or even just to know what is going on rather than just keep them in the dark. So that is basically uh, my invitation to you to to reflect before taking such action and know, know beyond any doubt that any pain consciously or unconsciously you caused for another human being, animal, any being actually, it will be just coming back to you and it's not the way it's not the way it's not a way for the universe to punish you it's a way for the universe to let you know how does it feel when you when you do these actions um hope that explained at least from my point of view the consequences of ghosting and how it is not a mature or even a compassionate or empathetic way of dealing with uh, conflicts with others. And I also hope that you um, give it a thought and reflect and see it from that perspective and angle and don't see it as an easy thing to do. Have a good week. Namaste.